How do we get to know each other? Well, imagine I've just become aware of you. I start by using my senses. I may read about you, hear you speaking or see a photograph. When we first meet, I will have formed a picture of what I think you are like. These first impressions will be conscious and unconscious, real and imaginary, but a crude idea of you. Very quickly, I'll begin taking you apart, so to speak, wanting to focus on specific things about you and clarify my idea of you. First, it's most likely finding out your name, then what you do, your background, interests, personality, strengths and weaknesses, and so on. I'll want to note differences or similarities between us, at first passively, then actively. As I get more data, I'll be interpreting and analysing your traits so as to know what makes you tick. I'll form a better idea of what you're like, what sort of relationship I want to have. If there is something I don't quite grasp, I may or may not bother to find out more, but my picture of you will be bitty, like a jigsaw with pieces missing. Bit by bit, then, I'll come to conclusions about you. I'll have worked out what things rule your life and behaviour, and I'll be making a judgement about your personality, rightly or wrongly. I'll decide if I like you or not, but based on parts of your nature, rather than you as a whole person and that can be misleading and unfair. Now, although this way of getting to know you started with a passive, unconscious and intuitive right-brain approach, it almost immediately transferred to my logical left half, tending to look at you as a disembodied set of characteristics and idiosyncrasies. So hopefully at the same time, I'll have been giving you deeper thought, reflecting on you and balancing my left brain with some more right-brain ways of getting to know you. To do this, I shall also be getting to know you informally, say over drinks, visiting at home, going out to a club or being entertained, when we are simply having fun together. Those will be times when we can relax, drop our guard, share humour and feel free and easy as the song goes. In a more unconscious way I'll be getting to know you as a whole and I'll be less bothered about the details. This will probably lead to a deeper way of getting to know you better, where we spend quality time together expressing our thoughts, sharing ideas, showing our emotions and generally empathising with each other. In short, properly communicating. And of course, I must do this in a way that doesn't show you how good I think I am, but helps you to be yourself and bring out the best in you, showing what you are really like. Having done all this, I must now integrate all I know about you back into a whole, building you up into a complete person who will be more than the sum of the parts I initially identified. By doing this, I will have a much better idea of understanding not only what you are, but also why you are, and I'll be able to appreciate you better, giving you the help and support you may need. Of course, as I've been going through these stages, I'll be continually interacting, doing things with you, and changing how we practically work together, depending on the way I view you as a person and appreciate your abilities. And of course, the same thing will be happening with you. We may find time to do this in the work or meeting place, and also in spare time. In this way, we'll probably be developing our relationship, changing, growing and hopefully deepening it. It might, in the mysterious of all relationships, be one of romantic love, where we form a lifelong partnership. But whatever the outcome, our relationship should be continually strengthened as I feed back what I've learned about you into another round of getting to know you. Now these two approaches make it seem as though there are well-defined stages and ways of getting to know you that are all sequential. But in practice, they may happen at the same time in parallel or in reverse. The important thing is that I must use them both, integrating all I know about you back into someone with so much more than I saw at the beginning. If we all did this, imagine how much better our relationships would be. Even if we don't like somebody, not my cup of tea as the song goes, we are called to love everyone as we love ourselves. Mm -hmm.